This video provides support information for use of Smith's Medical Hemodraw Plus Closed Blood Sampling System. This is intended as an in-service tool and not a comprehensive usage guide. For complete product information, details, and instructions, please refer to the Hemodraw Plus Closed Blood Sampling System instruction for use. The Hemodraw Plus Closed Blood Sampling System with Logical or Transstar Transducer Kit is a hemodynamic pressure monitoring and blood sampling system designed to allow easy withdrawal of blood samples from an arterial or central venous pressure monitoring line while maintaining a completely closed system. System Setup The Logical Transducer System, Transstar Disposable Transducers, and Hemodraw Blood Sampling Reservoir can be attached to an IV pole or mounted on the patient. If using an IV pole, connect Logical or Transstar Mounting System to IV pole. Attach Logical Reusable Pressure Transducer onto the Logical Mounting System. Inspect the Logical Transducer diaphragm for signs of damage. Connect bracket for the Hemodraw Reservoir to the mounting system. Connect the Logical to the monitor adapter cable by mating the reusable cable connector with a transducer connector. Confirm the transducer and cable connectors are fully engaged and locked. Open the Hemodraw Plus Closed Blood Sampling System package and remove devices using aseptic technique. Verify all connections are secure. Remove the protective cover by pinching the wings and sliding the cover off. Attach the Logical Disposable Transducer cartridge to the Logical Transducer plate by sliding it down into the slot over the diaphragm until an audible click is heard. For Transstar system, attach Transstar Disposable Transducer onto Transstar Mounting System. Connect Transducer to the reusable monitor cable by gently pushing the connector until the tab side of the connector clicks into the slotted side of the cable interface. If using an IV pole, attach the Hemodraw Reservoir to the bracket on the mounting system next to the Logical or Transstar Transducer. Priming Reposition the Hemodraw Reservoir from the 5 milliliter to the 0 milliliter position and lock into place. Twist to lock the reservoir into the 0 milliliter position. Spike a bag of sterile solution with a gentle twisting motion of the drip chamber spike. Squeeze the sides of the drip chamber to fill partially with fluid. The solution bag must be placed at a higher level than the transducer and pressure tubing in order to prime with gravity. Check that all stopcocks are open. When the system has two sampling sites, the distal sampling site stopcock must be open. Off arrow is pointing away from the sampling site. Open the roller clamp. Activate the flush device gently. Remember, air rises. Always allow the fluid to fill from below. To activate the flush device, grasp between thumb and forefinger and gently squeeze. Prime the side port of the zeroing stopcock. Turn the stopcock off to the side port and close with a non-vented cap. Gently tap areas to locate any trapped air. When applicable, activate the flush device and prime the line to the distal blood sampling site stopcock. Turn the distal sampling site stopcock off handle pointing it toward the sampling site. Activate the flush device and prime the line to the needle-free blood sampling site. Inverting the sampling site and gently tapping may aid in the removal of trapped air. 
pressurize the system with a pressure cup to 300 millimeters of mercury. Flush the system. Check for trapped air, which may not have been dislodged during the flush. Using aseptic technique, connect the pressure monitoring tubing to the patient's vascular access device. If using patient mount device, attach hemodraw reservoir to the patient arm. Note, if the system has two sampling sites, the distal sampling site stopcock must be in the off position with the arrow pointing towards the sampling site when monitoring patient blood pressure. Zeroing. Position the transducer zeroing port at the patient level per hospital policy or procedure. Vent the transducer to atmospheric pressure by turning the zeroing stopcock off of the patient and remove the non-vented cap. Adjust the monitor to read zero according to the monitor manufacturer's instruction. Return zeroing stopcock to pressure monitoring position and close with a non-vented cap. Obtaining blood samples. for withdrawing a blood sample from the proximal, closest to the patient, sampling site. Locate the inline, needle-free blood sampling site. Cleanse the sampling site per hospital policy and procedure. Activate the hemodraw reservoir slowly and lock into the 5 milliliter position. Connect a lure lock syringe or sampling device to the inline, needle-free blood sampling site. Gently withdraw the desired blood sample. Disconnect the lure lock syringe or sampling device from the inline needle free blood sampling site. Unlock the hemodraw reservoir from the sampling position and slowly re infuse the clearing volume back to the patient until reservoir returns to the zero milliliter position. Then twist and lock the reservoir at the zero milliliter position. Activate the flush device until blood is cleared from the line. Short flushes may clear the line better. Cleanse the sampling site per hospital policy and procedure. For withdrawing a blood sample from the distal, farthest from the patient, sampling site stopcock. Locate the needle-free blood sampling site stopcock. Cleanse the sampling site per hospital policy and procedure. Turn the sampling site stopcock off arrow away from the sampling site. Activate the hemodraw reservoir slowly and lock into the 13 milliliter position. Connect a lure lock syringe or sampling device to the needle free blood sampling site stopcock. Gently withdraw the desired blood sample. Turn the sampling site stopcock off arrow to point to the sampling site stopcock. Disconnect the lure lock syringe or sampling device from the needle-free blood sampling site stopcock. Turn the sampling site stopcock off arrow away from the sampling site. Unlock the reservoir from the sampling position and slowly reinfuse the clearing volume back to the patient until reservoir returns to the zero milliliter position. Then twist and lock the reservoir at the zero milliliter position. Activate the flush device until blood is cleared from the line. Short flushes may clear the line better. Turn the sampling site stopcock off arrow to point to the sampling site stopcock. Cleanse the sampling site per hospital policy and procedure. Note, when monitoring patient blood pressure, ensure the distal sampling site stopcock off arrow points towards the sampling site. Remove system and storage. To remove or replace the Logical disposable kit, pinch the wings of the disposable cartridge and remove it from the reusable plate. 
to disconnect Logical transducer cables, twist the connector clockwise, according to the arrow, and pull away from the mounting plate. To disconnect the Transtar cables, gently press down on the tab inside the clear shroud and pull away from the reusable cable. The Logical reusable pressure transducer and Logical and Transtar Hemodraw Plus closed blood sampling system kits should be stored in a dry location at temperatures between minus 25 Celsius degree and 70 Celsius degree. The Logical and Transtar Hemodraw Plus closed blood sampling system kits should be changed every 96 hours or according to hospital protocol and or CDC guidelines. Warnings, Cautions, and Precautions